Good morning everyone, very late start today, so I'm on a mission, that mission I'll let you know when I get to the uh, point of interest and get what I'm going to get, so a little bit cryptic at the moment, but yeah, I'm heading off on a two week trip, so we quite a few episodes, stick around, my name's Mick and welcome to Oztrax 4x4. So I just pulled over to have a bit of a stretch and grab a drink out of the fridge. And I was gonna pull into the servo just up here, but there's a big crane putting the roof on. So that's no good, that's not gonna help me. Um, done 134 Ks so far. I left really late, way too late actually, about four hours later than I was gonna. And uh, yeah, I think I might make my campsite by nightfall. Maybe, we'll see how we go. Um, other than that, I'll keep on going. Just a bit of an update guys, still traveling along. I'm probably about 80 k's out of Port Augusta at the moment. I've got the uh, Flinders Ranges over to my right here. There's a really low cloud, which was really cool. So I flipped the camera around. You might be able to see that. Um, yeah, looks kind of awesome really low cloud um, it's kind of wet up here so if we were to camp up here you'd be uh, pretty damp so that's where we're at at the moment um, I've got a quarter of my sub tank left done 251 kilometers and uh, that's about it to report at the moment so not a whole lot happening yeah, once I get to Port Augusta, I'll hop out for a five or ten minute break and uh, then I'll work out how far I've got to go to get to my campsite. As I said, I'm probably going to rock in in darkness or just on darkness somewhere. Um, but in saying that, it was around about a six hour drive from home and I've been going for what, two and a half hours? So. I might make it before darkness, but we'll see how we go. Um, other than that, cruise is going pretty well. Um, nothing to report. Nothing's going wrong. No weird noises. Um, and yeah, that's about it really. Got the UHF crackling in the background there, just to keep an eye on uh, anything that's going on. And uh, yeah, that's it. I will be back with you soon when I hit Port Augusta. I'm way behind schedule today, the sun's setting, I'm 37 k's from my stop for the night and it's going to be dark when I set up, so you can see sunsets out there and um, yeah it's going to be a cold night I reckon and I can see rain and patches coming through as well, so we'll see how all that goes. Um, yeah, I didn't want to be driving at this time of the night either. That's when the kangaroos start coming out. And I uh, don't want to have a kangaroo strike. So we'll see how we go. Um, I'll update you when I get to camp and I'll get the awning set up and my swag set up at least. I actually haven't eaten today either. Um, which is kind of annoying, but that's my own fault. So... Um, yeah, what I'm going to have for dinner, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to see. I think I've got a couple of snags uh, in the fridge. I'll just do a couple of those between bread on my, on my butane burner. No time to gather any firewood for tonight. Um, yeah, and that's where, where we are at. So, yeah. All right, I'll keep pushing on. And I'll be back probably when it's dark. All right, I've literally like rocked into camp here at about seven o'clock at night. I'm set up, which is not too bad. 
Um, I've got an awning wall up for a windbreak. I've only got the one wall, but it'll do for the moment. And I'll just set my swag up just back in here. And if it rains, I'm not going to get wet, which is good. Um, yeah, time to cook some food um, after I've set up my swag. And I am starving. So I reckon it's going to be those snags for sure. All right, guys, I'm just done with dinner now. Um, I've packed everything up. I've reorganized my tubs. And yeah, this campsite I'm at, I'll show you in the morning, uh, is one that I use for my Central Australia tour video. Um, it's not marked anywhere. It's strictly bush camping here. There's no other vehicles. Um, it's pretty quiet and secluded. It's not one I'm going to share just yet. Maybe when I do a Patreon, I will sort that out. But if you haven't seen my Central Australia tour videos, if you click just up here, um, you'll see the campsite there. But I'll show you in the morning anyway. But yeah, pretty much now. It's what? What's the time? 8.44 at night. I'm probably going to go to bed shortly. Uh, I've done everything I need to do. And, um, yeah, just be a nice, good sleep tonight after the long drive today, getting into camp late. Other than that, um, yeah, everything went well. Cars going flawless. No issues. Um, only thing is I'm using about 15 litres per 100 Ks. Now, I think that's to do with injectors and injector pump being so old. Um, and possibly the roof box on the roof could be a potential issue too. Um, but yeah, I'll have to test it out when I take that back off when I get home. Um, yeah, other than that, I'll show you in the morning. Um, other things here, I do have a new voltmeter now. So this one you can read, no worries. So I've got a fully charged battery. When the fridge cycles in and out, it drops down. Yeah, I've got a few trucks and stuff going past right now. Um, I've got a sensor light on the car here as well. So if anyone decides anything or anyone decides to come into camp, I've got this little sensor light here. I do that, and bam, the light comes on. And it lights up a fair way too out here. So pretty safe in there. As you can see, you just got a couple of lights running. Can't really see much at night time. No one can get past on the other side. Because I've got my spare wheel there, which is in this corner. So spare wheel's in that corner there. So tubs, everything's all organized in the back here. Just gonna finish off my can of Sprite and uh, probably hop into bed. So, and uh, yeah, that, that's it there. So, all right guys. I will catch you all in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Was that a cold night or what? That was ridiculous. So yeah, it's about quarter to eight at the moment. And everything is just wet so i'm gonna have to stick around for a little bit and wait for everything to dry out before i pack up um but yeah i'll show you the campsite as i said i would so this is where i am at the moment so big campsite sun's just come up not too long ago this is the setup here <coughs> So sway's a little bit damp inside from condensation. That's about normal. Um, other than that, yeah, it was good. You see everything's soaking at the moment. Yeah, I'll let it dry up. Might have something to eat. We'll see how we go. And uh, yeah, once I pack up, I'll pack up and get going. And on to my next location, which I think is gonna be Colgara. Uh, tonight I might actually stay somewhere but we'll see I might be able to push on a little bit further um, yeah there we go let's go check out this van so last time I was here um, 
Uncle Pete and I discovered this van up the back here when I just went for a bit of a fly with the drone. So, we could have a look and check it out while everything's still drying off. This is it here, riddled with bullet holes. Someone's been having some fun. Got cans and stuff down here as well, in the bushes. So yeah, we worked out that this was an old comma van. C O double M E R. Engine still in it. So we reckon this is like 50s or something, maybe, maybe even later. I'm not gonna climb in it or anything. That's what we reckon it is anyway. If you agree, leave it down in the comments. But yeah, this is, this is the old girl here, so. I've probably been trying to hit the lock, have I? Yeah, and getting that open. So, she's been out here a long, long time, if it's this rusty. Very cool though, something different, that's for sure. In the back. I guess if you were stranded and you came across this, you'd sleep in it somehow. It's on a bit of an angle though, but you'd make it work. Yeah, there we go. Well, I'm gonna head back to the car, which is that way, see it from here. And um, hopefully stuff's starting to dry out by now and I can start packing up and get moving. So we'll see how we go. All right, back with you when I'm on the road. <laughs> 